G'day, I'm Mark Boris from Wizard Home Loans. Six months ago, we did our first YouTube video asking Australians, particularly those in the mortgage belt, how they are coping with a series of questions with the long period of high interest rates in this country. We got phenomenal feedback and we collated that feedback and as we said in the video, we pass it on to the Reserve Bank and to their credit, the Reserve Bank thanked us for it and acknowledged it. Since that time, we've had two more official rate rises and we've had two other rate rises across the board by lenders out of the rate rise cycle. So effectively, four rate rises. So if we weren't hurting then, we're definitely hurting now. It's important for us now to feed back again to the Reserve Bank how you feel about those rate rises and actually how it's affecting you. There's plenty of commentators out there currently saying that there should be a bias towards easing and indeed some of the markets are reflecting a reduction in interest rates at the wholesale level. Even the RBA this week when they come out with the minutes have indicated a bias towards easing. But it's all about timing. What we want, what you want, borrowers, we want them to ease interest rates as soon as possible. Not 10 months or 12 months, probably one month. Here's your opportunity to give us the feedback to some questions I'm going to ask you in a few moments, to give us some feedback which we'll collate and send to the Reserve Bank, which we hope will help the Reserve Bank in building their decision to ease interest rates sooner than later. So I've got a couple of questions. We need your feedback, and here, here we go. So the first question is, to survive the higher costs of mortgage repayments, petrol increases, food prices, where have you been reducing your spending? Where have you changed your discretionary spending? We need that information so we can feed that back to the Reserve Bank because that's going to affect, in, in affect growth in this country. Uh, the second question is, given what you've experienced over the last six months, or perhaps in some cases the last 12 months, have these interest rate rises scared you off debt forever and thus the prospect of home ownership? In other words, how's our economic and social structure changed? as a result of the pain you've been suffering over these last 12 to 18 months. And the third question is, it's about survival, the third question. The RBA, the RBA needs to know how long you can hold out for. One month, two months, three months, six months? Are you able to restructure your life? Or is it you so desperate that you need the changes instantly? Now look, I can't guarantee, we can't guarantee that the Reserve Bank's gonna take these information into account in making their decisions. But nonetheless, this is an opportunity for you to have a voice, for you to say what you think. And if you've got anything else you want to talk about, anything else you want to yarn about, other, any other anecdotal evidence that we, we think you need to, we need to send to the Reserve Bank on your behalf, don't hesitate, let us know. And if you leave your post below, I can guarantee you that we'll collate it and we'll forward it on to the Reserve Bank and to all our leaders in this country. Thanks very much.